Stop with the boring PowerPoints. Create an engaging and interactive PowerPoint quiz for your next activity, training session, class, or PowerPoint game night. I'm gonna walk you through three quick, easy steps to create a quiz in PowerPoint. Step one is to create our quiz questions. I personally really struggle with the design and the creation of PowerPoint slides, so I love using templates from sites like Canva or SlidesGo. Or you can use ClassPoint's quiz ideas feature located right inside PowerPoint. So if you don't have this ClassPoint tab in your PowerPoint ribbon, you can download and install it for free at ClassPoint.io. We're actually gonna be using ClassPoint in the next step, so if you download it now, you're already a little bit ahead of the game. But for now, I'm gonna open up the quiz ideas feature and select one of these templates to use. And then I can just go ahead and update and edit this text to fit my question and answer choices. So I'm just gonna copy and paste those in. Then you can go ahead and continue to edit the slide as you would like, depending on the template and the style that you're already using. And don't forget to be creative. Your questions don't just have to be multiple choice. For example, this question here could be a fill in the blanks or short answer question. Perfect, now that all of our slides are designed, we can go ahead and move on to step number two, which is making this presentation interactive. So to do that, like I said, we are gonna be using ClassPoint, that interactive PowerPoint add-in. That way we can get live responses from our audience during our presentation. So you guys will notice that ClassPoint has eight different quiz question types. So feel free to mix in a variety of questions throughout your presentation. But when you're on the slide that you wanna make interactive, you can go ahead and click on the ClassPoint button that corresponds to the question that's on your slide. So since I used a quiz ideas template with multiple choice, it already has that multiple choice icon on our slide, so we're ready to go. You'll notice that the side panel opens up once the button is placed onto your slide. That way we can go ahead and customize our options to match our question. So for this example with multiple choice, we have the option to choose from anywhere from two to eight answer choices, but on my slide, I only have four, so we're gonna stick with that. And then we can select our correct answer. If you have multiple correct answers, you can choose that. We'll skip over quiz mode for now, but if you wanna learn more, take a look at the link up above. And then lastly, for our play options. These are just options on how the button is run in your presentation mode. For now, I will leave all of them blank and we're ready to move on to step number three, which is presenting. To start receiving live responses from your audience and putting these questions to use, enter your PowerPoint presentation mode. From here, you can invite your audience to join your class by opening up any web browser and going to classpoint.app. From there, they can type in the class code that they see in the top corner of your presentation. As the presenter, you can click on this class code and view who's already joined into your class and give your audience the opportunity to scan the QR code to join as well. Once everyone's joined in, you can exit out of this and start our question by clicking on the class point button on your slide. Your audience can begin responding. You'll see those responses appear live on your screen or you can minimize this window. That way you can show the question full screen. To click back into this question and view the responses, all you need to do is click on that yellow button and you can also check on the live status to see who hasn't submitted yet. Once everyone has submitted, you can go ahead and close the question and we can review the responses. To review the responses, you can first show the, uh, the correct answer and award stars to all of those who got it correct. For automating this awarding of stars, you can go ahead and check out quiz mode that is linked up above. For more information and details on who submitted which answer, you can click into the bar graph to view that answer. And you can insert these results as a slide for a later review after your presentation. And then lastly, last little tidbit to throw in is if you have multiple questions throughout your presentation, you can open up the leaderboard to show who is ranking against who in your competition. For more information on the leaderboard and these gamification features, take a look at the link up above. Congrats, you've now added an interactive quiz inside your PowerPoint presentation. But I did promise a way to use this template even if your audience doesn't have devices. So to do that, you can actually use a saved ClassPoint class that already has all of your audience names inside. So once that's done, you can actually use other ClassPoint features like the spinning wheel of names, to call on a student and have them answer the question. If they answered it correctly, go ahead and award them a star. For more information on running this interactive quiz in that way, take a look at the link up above. 
And then lastly, for more of an asynchronous activity to use this template, you can actually add hyperlinks throughout your presentation. That way, with the click of a button, you can jump to a new spot in your presentation, answer questions, and it'll tell you if it is right or wrong. For more information on running an interactive quiz and doing that asynchronous activity with your audience, take a look at the link up above. And with that, you are now an interactive quiz inside PowerPoint expert. But don't forget to subscribe to the ClassPoint channel. That way you can stay updated with the latest ClassPoint and PowerPoint EdTech tips and tricks.